डॉक्टर नवीन चंद्र असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स विनोबा भावे यूनिवर्सिटी हजारीबाग झारखंड ही गॉट एम एस सी एंड पी एच डी डिग्री इन एस एन बोस नेशनल सेंटर फॉर बेसिक साइंस कोलकाता ही इज द मेम्बर ऑफ इंडियन एसोसिएशन ऑफ फिजिक्स टीचर आई ए पी टी एंड इंडियन साइंस कांग्रेस एंड ही हिज रिसर्च एरिया आर कंप्यूटिशनल मॉलिकुलर बायोफिजिक्स एंड सिमुलेटिंग एंड मॉडलिंग बायो मॉलिकूल्स यूजिंग फोटोन लैंग्वेज सर बहुत ही हमारे पास हमारे साथ पहले भी सर जुड़ चुके हैं 2015 में महाविद्यालय में एक नेशनल सेमिनार आयोजित हुआ था वैल्यू एंड इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ मैथमेटिकल फिजिक्स उसमें एक रिसोर्स पर्सन की तरह हमारे बीच उपस्थित थे सर सर बहुत ही सरल स्वभाव के हैं और एक बार में हमारे इन्विटेशन स्वीकार कर लेते हैं इसके लिए सर का बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मैं देना चाहता हूँ और उनका जो लेक्चर है वो मेनली जो है मॉलिकुलर बायो पर है तो सर सर के लेक्चर से हम बहुत कुछ सीख सकते हैं पहले भी सीखे हैं अभी आने वाले समय में भी हम सीखेंगे तो मैं सर को हार्डली इनवाइट करता हूं कि वो अपना लेक्चर स्टार्ट करें डॉक्टर नवीन चंद्र सर प्लीज स्टार्ट योर लेक्चर सर यस थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर गोवर्धन थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड गुड आफ्टरनून एवरीबडी Uh, am I audible and am I visible to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you uh, continue, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. So it's good that uh, this college in Chhattisgarh, Government uh, Rajiv Lochan College in Rajim uh, near Raipur in Chhattisgarh, is organizing such a webinar. and i thank them that they have invited me to uh, deliver the inaugural lecture thank you uh, the team organizing this event webinar event so as they have uh, uh, they have kept the title relishing physics during covid 19 times during covid 19 so yeah the thing is if people are really relishing this time in doing whatever people are kind of locked down inside their houses inside their rooms and a lot of problems are being faced by different many people all over india and maybe in other parts of world also minded that uh, america usa has not imposed this strict lockdown also china they didn't have they they haven't uh, imposed this strict lo lockdown as india has so being superpowers uh, maybe there is some 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 world politics behind this corona so this corona virus i don't know maybe is more uh, of politics than virus it has to be seen uh, during this period maybe we are facing lot of uh, difficulties but still it's time we should we should put you we should collect ourselves and spend this time in a positive way so that we can come out of it in a better way and of course this lockdown is having some positive impacts also as you can see uh the environment is getting better the pollution in atmosphere is lessening vehicles are not plying in that big numbers on roads so pollution is coming down and also road accidents are not happening in that big numbers lot of people died in india due to ro on road but flying of less number of vehicles so that uh, data also has gone down so these these things are positive but yes uh going on google meet on ki hai aisa audio aa raha hai so today in this covid time we will be talking about i will be talking about my fields of research but 
uh, as I see some 70 participants are there in this event and they have already joined, maybe a few more will be joining and number will increase. But I believe most of us, most of them and most of us, we are physics students and physicists, physics teachers. Myself also is a physics student, have, have been a physics student. Hello. And I teach physics. Chandra, sir. Yes, yes. Uh, 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 हाँ सर के कंटिन्यू सर हेलो चंद्रा सर कंट हाँ यस थैंक यू थैंक यू हाँ या बहुत अच्छी बात है कि इस तरह के टाइम में भी हम लोग वी आर ट्राइंग टू रिलेश फिजिक्स एंड टुडे आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट माय रिसर्च फील्ड दो आई एम आई हैव बीन अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स एंड आई टीच फिजिक्स एट यूनि� but I worked and I still work a little bit in fields of uh, biology and that is molecular biology and I do computational work, theoretical works, so that is computational molecular biophysics. But still I will try not to go deep into biology so that it doesn't become very uh, unfamiliar to uh, audience over here which con consists of, which consists largely of so, and I will also try to keep the environment light. It doesn't be, get very serious. So here I uh, present my slides I have prepared. I don't know if it is visible. Is it visible to everybody? Yes, it is visible. Yeah, thank you. So I will I'll talk about physics in biology. Physics has got applications not only in fields of physics, but around also in biology. And I'll talk about some of my forefront works I did during my PhD and continuing after that uh, at Vinoba Bhave University. In Hazari Bhak. I did my PhD from, as Dr. Govardhan introduced very nicely, I did my PhD from SN Bose National Center for Basic Sciences in Kolkata. And it, it was under an integrated PhD program, MSc plus PhD. So after BSc, from the same district, Vinoba Bhavi University, I joined SN Bose Center uh, as MSc student to start with and later on continue to uh, complete my PhD. Yeah titled uh, Theoretical Studies of Protein Nucleic Acid Interactions Related to Gene Expression. So a lot of biology in it, but here I will try to show you how physics students and other students like mathematics students, they can work in the fields of biology. Because I was a student of physics. I did my MSc in physics and I moved to do my researches in fields of biology because I had a little bit of interest in it, like, like uh, those in DNA, in RNA, and maybe in proteins. So the fields I work is computational molecular biophysics. I call it fondly, fondly so, computational molecular biophysics. So it's computational work and molecular because we try to explain life. We try to understand life uh, on, through, through chemistry, chemistry. So molecular thing is there. So our work try to uh, understand life through chemistry. So we are looking for chemical basis of life. And, and when there is life, there is biology. 
So, and I being a student of physics, there is physics. So you see lots of fields are there in my title itself, computation, chemistry, biology, physics. And we will see that also mathematics. Anyway, computational thing is uh, under mathematics. And I will show you how it is full of fun doing interdisciplinary researches in science. When you uh, uh, lift yourself a bit up from physics to see other fields and use your knowledge in physics to apply in say biology, in say chemistry, and elsewhere, maybe in uh, humanities subjects like say economics, say political science. So these are acknowledgements. My supervisor is was professor. He is still there in Bose Institute. Uh, he has retired, but as a uh, fellow, he is still at Bose Institute. Professor Siddharth Roy. He is a Patnagar Awardee, and he he was at Bose Institute in Kolkata when I joined him as a PhD student. I was a fellow of SN Bose Center. That is a different institute. That is not Bose Institute. That is also popularly called Bose Center uh, these days, but that is different from Bose Institute. This Bose Institute was named after Jagdish Chandra Bose. And an Indian physicist, mind it, he was a physicist, Jagdish Chandra Basu. But he too worked in fields of biology. And uh, he was. Uh, he, he is endowed with this uh, 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 achievement that there is life in plants. And uh, so this credit goes to uh, Jagdish Chandra Basu from India, from Kolkata. And in, in his name, this institute, Bose Institute is there. That is near uh, Maniktala uh, in, in, in Kolkata. And another campus of Bose Institute is there, is there near Ultodanga in Kolkata. And I worked at that Ultodanga campus. So Professor Siddharth Roy was also there. Uh, and Professor Gautam Basu, he too was there at Bose Institute Kolkata. Uh, though he was not my formal supervisor or co-supervisor, but he helped me a lot during my PhD works. Professor Surajit Sen Gupta, uh, he is at TCIS these days in Hyderabad. This TCIS is Tata Institute of Fundamental Research uh, Center for Interdisciplinary Sciences in uh, Hyderabad. TIFR itself is in Mumbai, but it's extension center at Hyderabad, TCIS. And he was at ISCS Kolkata, uh, Indian Association for Cultivation of Sciences, Kolkata. Uh, uh, where, where you, you know, uh, V. Raman had walked at ISCS. Yeah, this is in Jaspur and Kolkata. And uh, C. V. Raman walked at ISCS. So, and uh, Professor Surajit Sen Gupta was also at SN Bose Center. That's why I uh, became my co guide. And I was a fellow of SN Bose Center. Professor Jayadev Jayade Chakravarti, he too is, a, is at SN Bose Center, Kolkata. So I acknowledge all of them. Uh, they have been my mentors. Dr. Soma Samadhar, Dr. Asit Kumar Manna, and Dr. Paramita Raha. They, they, they were my colleagues. They are, uh, uh, Soma uh, was senior to me. She is at Lady Brebarni College in Kolkata. Asit Manna, he is. Uh, he he was my batchmate. We we worked together for our PhD. And these days he he is in USA uh, at NIH National Institute of Health, doing research works, postdoctoral research works. Uh, Paromita is in Canada these days. I don't know see if she is still in research. Uh, 
she was uh, at UCSF, University of California, uh, San, uh, San Francisco, USA, doing her postdoctoral work over there. And uh, I must acknowledge them as well as my works overlapped with them. Uh, Somadi's work, uh, Dr. Asit and Dr. Paromita's work. So I'll talk about three works, but uh, in not going very deep into any of them, so that uh, involved biology uh, uh, should not perturb you. And I'll try to keep it like a physics thing. So this is, uh, uh, in this uh, uh, slide, I don't know if it is visible, it must be visible over there. The first word is electrostatics, that is uh, from physics. So physics, physics students should not be uh, unfamiliar with electrostatics. So, but this electrostatics I apply in biology. So um, I worked on role of electrostatics and role of salt in protein nucleic acid in uh, complexes. Protein nucleic, uh, nucleic acid means one DNA, if you, uh, you might have heard DNA and RNA deoxyribonucleic acid and ribonucleic acid, DNA, RNA. So protein DNA and protein RNA interactions are important. And I see, I tried to see the role of electrostatics into it. This was, this was my first work I, I tried to do in my PhD. And this work is still unpublished. We will be publishing it soon. So before I talk about uh, my works any further, I must introduce these things. Again, I will not go deep into it, but the, this uh, rotating uh, DNA uh, uh, picture you, you people might have come across before. So this structure was uh, uh, found by, um, by physicists again. So when uh, Rosalind Franklin C did uh, X-ray diffraction spect spectroscopy uh, long back, maybe in 19, uh, near 1950. And she found this structure and that this was a, a revolution, finding the, uh, coming to know of the structure of DNA. So this is a double helical structure and you see two helices wound over each other and then bases are interacting. So, uh, 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 like adding in thymine, guanine, and cytosine, four kinds of what are called bases, nucleic acid bases are there, and they form hydrogen bonds and base pairs. So A binds to, adenine binds to thymine, AT, and guanine binds to cytosine, uh, hydrogen bonding. So GC, three hydrogen bonding over there. So this is a long chain. DNA is a very long chain. Uh, we, are, we are just showing a piece of, a, a cut piece of DNA. So this is not the full DNA. This is in fact very long. And similarly, there is RNA on the right hand side, upper corner. So this also is a chain, but this is comparatively smaller. And one oxygen is missing from uh, one of the places in RNA chain. That's why DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. Again, so RNA is single-stranded as compared to DNA. See, these day people talk about this coronavirus much more. I mean, this have the, the this virus. I don't know. Maybe it has infected uh, respiratory system of people, and more than that, I believe it has infected their uh, people's brain because so much marketing is there of this coronavirus. So everybody is uh, horrified. Everybody is in. Uh, uh, problem taking this coronavirus. I don't know how, how, yes, numbers are always coming in news, newspapers in TV that these many people have uh, been infected till now, thousands of them, uh, maybe in a world over lakhs of them. And then these many people are dying, uh, hundreds of them sometimes uh, in India. Now it has crossed several thousands, but uh, you see, one should not get afraid of these viruses because as I believe, I am not an expert of virology, but I have worked in, worked in field of uh, uh, viruses. And you see all viruses, different many viruses are, are always there. And in this rainy season, it, 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 come, it, 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 it stays there in much more number. 
so not only coronavirus if you take if you look start looking at the meter like corona meter you are start looking at say uh, some other virus uh, meter like japanese in encephalitis uh, encephalitis chamki bukhar yahan in bihar we call it so a lot of people died last year you this uh, japanese encephalitis uh, virus Uh, infection due to this infection and newborns a number of new ones hundreds of them if you, you if you remember last year uh, hundreds of newborns in hospitals they died but i don't know but this this didn't come uh, in newspapers as much when, at, at least to be, when you compare to the uh, coverage of this coronavirus in uh, these days so not only coronavirus is there there are other viruses are uh, also there always there around flu virus we get this cold common cold or fever flu virus this also kills people and you, if if you start looking at the meter several hundreds or several thousands of people die of it other viruses hmm, uh, and also bacterial infections they kill people like uh, say malaria uh typhoid and many more uh aids virus not only viruses bacterial infections and lot of diseases are there cancer this is not uh, infection due to virus or bacteria but uh, lot many people die of cancer and there are 10 12 of different diseases and other uh, regions taking which people die and those numbers are much much more than Uh, deaths due to this corona but i don't know this depends on coverage on newspapers on tv so corona is more popular more popular so i was talking of this dna structure and then rna structure and on the uh, lower side this is protein structure this also is a polymer chain <coughs> and you see uh a uh, protein is a chain of amino acids uh, on the left hand corner and on the uh, lower side you see one amino acid is being bond bonded with uh, uh, another amino acid to form uh, a peptide bond and this way the second one will bond, bind to the third one and then third to fourth and this will there will be a chain with the vertical chain on the middle uh, lower lower uh, a uh, figure so this dna chain is chain of amino acids and you see this omega 5 psi angles these are dihedral dihedral angles dihedral angles uh, are angle between planes so one plane will be defined in mathematics in mathematics you know that a plane can be defined using three points so if this c alpha carbon alpha uh, atom then uh, carbon atom and then nitrogen atom these three will form a plane so one plane and then the uh, another plane using this carbon atom then nitrogen atom and next c alpha atom so two planes will be there and the angle between them will be omega and similarly phi angle between c and c alpha uh, plane and and c alpha c plane next so phi angle and psi angle similarly so these omega phi psi are dihedral angles again this is from biology but again uh, this is uh, uh, this will it will be easier for physics people and for mathematics people to understand these dihedral angles and uh, you will be again uh, will appreciate it that uh, the person who 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 worked and who 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 started this notation he uh, his researches on this dihedral angles of proteins he was an indian scientist and his name is g n ramachandran he didn't get a nobel prize but still his work was a commendable work in fields of biology for protein structure and dihedral angles omega phi psi and there are a plot in biology uh, uh, which is called ramachandran plot using this uh, uh, omega phi psi angles and then this dna to rna to protein 
uh, transcription and translation process from DNA coding to RNA copy being prepared on the right hand side, uh, lower side uh, diagram, and from RNA to protein. Uh, VHLTP, these are single letter code of, for amino acids. So, uh, I mean, protein is a, an amino acid chain. So, DNA to RNA transcription and RNA to protein translation. This is uh, uh, central dogma of life, life, central principle of life. So much of biology, but this much was, I think, necessary to if we uh, before we go further. So DNA protein interactions, and they are important. Uh, this picture shows a nuclear membrane, which is boundary of uh, nucleus uh, inside cell. So this is uh, a cell and this nuclear membrane is the boundary of separating nucleus inside cell from the rest of the cytoplasm inside cell. Uh, in human beings and in bacteria also in all uh, different forms of life, cells are the uh, uh, smallest unit of life, uh, prokaryotes and eukaryotes, uh, prokaryotes like bacteria and eukaryotes like our cells, mammalian and other species. So red chain is DNA chain and this yellow spherical uh, uh, kind of picture, this is RNA polymerase, this is a protein, this reads, uh, quote unquote reads, this reads the code in DNA red chain and prepares a copy of mRNA in blue messenger RNA. And this mRNA comes out of uh, this nuclear membrane and goes to cytoplasm, uh, the ribosome, ribo inside cytoplasm, this ribosome site where this mRNA coding is read, which has come from DNA. So this blue mRNA, which, which has come from uh, DNA, the information has come from DNA. This comes to ribosome site where this mRNA code is, which has come from DNA, is being is read, quote unquote, read again. This time ribosome does this, this reading. A ribosome again is a combination of uh, proteins and RNA. So you see there are a lot of DNA, RNA and proteins and this is central dogma of life. life I mean, principle of life, basic principle of life. That is how all kinds of life. Life these days, we used to study in schools that what is what is living being and what is non-living being. So living being, we used to say a lot of things like there is respiration in living beings, like there is growth in living beings, there is movement in living beings, which, which are absent in non-living beings. Uh, beings. Then there are uh, there are exceptions that some living beings which don't move, like trees. Then some, uh, but again, the, this DNA is the defining thing. All living forms, all, all life forms, they have DNA in it, or if not DNA, at least RNA. Like viruses, viruses, viruses are at the boundary of living and non-living systems. Are viruses living? We don't know. We, we, we cannot say, uh, we, we cannot give confirmatory answers because that sometimes it behaves as non-living and sometimes it, uh, because it has DNA, uh, RNA in it, it, it has life also. So viruses are at the boundary of uh, uh, life, life and non-living. So this, again, this ribosome structure, I must mention the structure of ribosome was found by, by uh, again, one Indian physicist. And his uh, name is Venkat Ram Chandran, uh, Ramakrishnan. He got Nobel prize for it. And he also used, used the same technique, XRD technique, X-ray diffraction to find the structure of ribosome. This green big structure over here ribosome, which consists of proteins and RNAs, ribonucleic acids. So again, an Indian physicist working in fields of biology, uh, and he got a Nobel Prize too. 
again you um, uh, you also see tr tRNA structures are there and a uh, lot of things so you see rna protein interaction and dna protein interaction is important is important for life uh this is first work i did this was about electrostatics role of charge charge interaction what physicists can do we already saw we can find structures using x ray diffraction experiments using nmr experiments which physicists physics students can do which uh, chemistry students can do uh, not only uh, other other than this biology students so they can work in uh, fields of biology and also uh, uh, charge charge interaction so physics students will be more familiar to that we can look into the role of charge charge interaction role of water dielectric role of salt ions in protein dna and protein rna interactions why they are uh, protein dna interactions are different how they are different from rna protein interactions electrostatically and otherwise so these studies we did and this is one of the results uh, plot of our result uh, here this uh, bright colors red and blue in first picture a and this is contour plot of uh, salt concentration uh local salt concentration in the calculation if if you forget this bright colors red and blue then there is uh, a green uh, structure behind it uh, this is protein structure and also a dna structure beneath so dna protein uh, complex is there and we did electrostatic calculation for it what we did uh, what this calculation does is solves what is called poisson boltzmann equation Uh, this is uh, if we we physicists must know of this poisson's equation in electrostatics so this is this was essentially poisson's equation but then there is one boltzmann term for mo mobile sal salt ions because in poisson's uh, equation this rho rho was fixed charges and these fixed charges are on the protein molecule and on dna molecule but there are mobile salt ions so for that, them there is an approximate term uh, there is an approximation and one boltzmann term is there and the equation from poisson's equation it becomes what is called poisson boltzmann equation and also it becomes a non linear equation uh, differential equation this is a second order differential equation difficult to uh, solve analytically because this is a non linear equation uh, in non linear in phi electrostatic potential so i will come to it uh, so you see lot of um, not only physics not only chemistry mathematics also is there so second order partial differential equation non linear equation to be solved analytically which is very difficult then you use computers you write programs or you use softwares like delphi software which uh, solves numerically Uh, on computers this del uh, uh, poisson boltzmann equation and gives you electrostatic potential distribution of electrostatic potential all over the uh, at all atomic sites or at all different points on grid in yellow yellow lines okay so this was uh, calculation in first picture was done uh, around protein in second around dna and in third uh, around uh, both protein and dna was present and the calculation was done and according to the final electrostatic poten potential calculated salt ions distributed themselves and this is the plot of those uh, local salt concentration this bright colors uh, uh, red blue orange yellow blue and cyan Uh, again we should not go much deep into the biology come to next and i'll skip over many slides now i don't know because we uh, we cannot continue for very long so maybe i'll take uh, 15 minutes more or less than that not more than that though i have uh, i have a uh, lot many slides but i'll skip over many of them uh, कितना मुश्किल से ज्वाइन किए थे और 
अच्छा ए, एक बात मेरे को भी कहना चाहिए कि प्लीज स्टॉप मी एनी वेयर बिकॉज इफ आई एम टॉकिंग टू माई रूम और इफ आई एम टॉकिंग टू द वॉल्स ऑफ माई रूम और द टी वी द कंप्यूटर स्क्रीन इट्स नॉट गुड इट इट मस्ट अपियर दैट आई एम टॉकिंग टू एन ऑडियंस so somebody should uh, speaks from the other side this is good from our participants from audience students sir sir excuse me sir ha don't ask me the request to the host yeah. sir please uh, switch off or uh, mute the yes uh, yes uh, don't unmute everybody don't, everybody should not unmute but if somebody has something to say or some question is there some query is there or some comment is there if somebody has something to say then he please unmute and then uh, yes, you can put yes. your question ha uh, you can you can you can stop me at any point of time during the presentation during the talk so yeah. right now i am showing a slide which shows this uh, poisson yeah. boltzmann equation uh, the first one is poisson boltzmann equation <laughs> you see this nabla dot epsilon r nabla phi r this is in fact nabla square phi uh in poisson's equation so epsilon dielectric constant being uh, a function of position uh, position vector r that's why this is inside this nabla vector uh, operation so nabla or operators differential vector operators so nabla square this is essential the first term is essentially nabla square phi in the poisson equation and if you forget the middle term then there is uh, uh, one term which you can take to the right hand side as well and this is minus 4 pi rho uh, this rho is a uh, fixed charge density uh, charges on molecule like dna molecule like protein molecule in our, in our case so fixed charges on dna protein molecules on uh, at, uh, partial charges on atoms the uh, hundreds of atoms in or thousands of atoms are there in dna protein molecule at times so charges on them those atomic sites what charges are there fixed charges so nabla square phi is rho rho upon epsilon not this is poisson's equation and middle term is which makes this equation non linear because of the sin hyperbolic term sin hyperbolic of phi electrostatic potential phi is electrostatic potential to be calculated solving this equation uh, but because of this non linear non linearity in this equation sin hyperbolic term if you remember this uh, uh, expansion of sin hyperbolic it contains all different powers of phi 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 q phi phi raised to the power of 5 and other uh, odd powers and so the equation becomes non linear in phi and very difficult to solve analytically this equation uh, this non linear equation you cannot solve uh, analytically so you use computational techniques numerical techniques you you msc students might have studied this computation in your syllabus at some point of time where you learn this numerical techniques how to solve differential equations how to do integrations numerically so you use some of the, those techniques uh, here it was finite difference method you replace the infinitesimal differentials with finite differences and solve the numerical solve numerically this uh, equation and of, uh, obtain solution for phi electrostatic potential and from there you calculate free energy electrostatic free, free free energy because we are dealing with electrostatics only this equation poisson equation was there in electrostatics of because of potential because of charges fixed charges and now uh, mobile ions through this middle term boltzmann term so you we get electrostatic uh, free energy from there we can calculate uh, binding energies because we do calculation three calculations one for the a uh, bound structure when both protein and dna are there in complex and we calculate do calculations for free structures free protein free dna and the difference in free state and bound state uh, uh, or the other way around uh, the difference between the bound state and free state is the binding free energy binding energy at the bottom which is related to association constant a binding free energy delta delta g 
and this electrostatic free energy contains coulombic term coulombic interactions reaction field energy uh, interaction with water water dipoles and what is the effect of orientation of those dipoles on the molecule interaction of molecule reaction with the reaction field and ionic contributions and many things so here i want to show in biology uh you can apply your mathematics your computation skills your physics skills and do lot many problems i before as i told before that many physicists have worked and many indian physicists also have worked in the fields of biology and these are different complexes uh, some of them are virus also but uh, transcription uh, dna and i calculated salt dependence slope i will not go into detail of the results i'll just go through them so the green one are rna proteins here i compare my uh, uh, calculations with experiments in the first plot uh, the uh, red and uh, black these are uh, non specific and specific lac represent dna represent dna complexes and this this is my calculation three three data points i did in fact uh, calculations for nine different salt concentrations so i have nine data points for uh, every complex but i use three only to plot here because uh, for this experimental uh, value was also there in uh, in one science paper and at three different salt concentrations they did work and they showed uh, this uh, uh, plot and i compared my calculations with them and they matched well so and the lower one blue one is rna protein complex and uh, this experiment this is uh, again my computation uh, calculation but for this also for this gln rst rna complex uh experimental work work is also available and that was done in our laboratory itself at uh, bose institute and here again it compares well and this is on right hand side this is distribution of complexes for different binding energy values and comparison of rna and dna i'll not go again much in much detail i'll skip through individual protein dna and protein rna complexes and different plots here the right hand plot is important one as uh, dr gautam basu used to say and uh, conclusions from my first work rna protein interactions tend to have lesser salt dependences than dna protein interactions one of the roles of salt ions inside cell is to contain the strong electrostatic interactions because electrostatic interactions are very strong interactions and to reduce the electrostatic diversity among different biomolecular complexes so if you if if salt ions are not there this electrostatic interactions will drive all uh, all uh, molecules so other lesser energy uh, interactions like hydrogen bonding like uh, van der waals interaction hydrophobic interaction they won't come at a come to four and which is important in biology low value interactions like hydrogen bonding and around around 150 millimolar comes out to be a good value where the effect of weakening of electrostatic interaction between macromolecules saturates so that's it and for the second work is molecular dynamic simulation again i i i i address physics students you do md simulations you can do if you have uh, uh, learned some computational skills you you uh, you might have learned simulation skills as well simulation are virtual experiments done on computers because you do experiments in laboratory directly but what you can do is do simulations on com on computers you can give instructions to computers you can uh, uh, introduce the system to on com to computers what uh, the system is consisting of like uh, Uh, water, wa some water in a beaker, 
so you give all details of water molecules and everything all interactions also how they are interacting uh, water molecules among themselves and then maybe with the walls of the beaker so all interactions so if you go give provide all informations to computer you can then ask computer to do calculations like in molecular dynamic simulation you solve newton's equation of motion you solve newton's equation of motion for a, for a molecular system so chemistry people also do, do this md simulations so simulations are virtual experiments done on computers because at times what happens you cannot do direct experiments suppose if you have to uh, do some experiments at very high temperature like if you want to see what happens uh, in sun inside sun you cannot do experiment uh, uh, by going uh, on sun you cannot do that so what you can do you can do simulation you can simulate or if you want to do some uh, you want to know what happens in space so it might not be easy to go in space uh, frequently so you can ask computer to do you if you provide all informations to computer you provide positions and uh, uh, velocities of all molecules interactions forces they are interacting with then you can uh, ask the computer to solve newton's equation of motion which, which again is a second order uh, differential equation and uh, 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 ha ha having partial characteristics big characteristic because of the interactions forces nabla of, uh, nabla of uh, f force nabla of v potential energy is force so you see again lot of physics and mathematics is there second order partial differential equation uh, being solved in md simulations molecular dynamics simulations which is newton's equation of motion and kyk etdl this is a, a peptide peptide means a part of protein i said protein uh, is a polymer chain Uh, uh, of amino acids, so K is lysine, one amino acid. Tyrosine, K lysine, uh, aspartic acid. Uh, e is glutamic acid. Threonine, glutamic aspartic acid, and leucine. So different amino acids. Twenty different amino acids might be present in a protein. So uh, seven more peptides, seven more uh, polymer chain, and all its single site mutants. We mutated each site with uh, alanine, another amino acid. and uh, this was important why it was important because in hepatitis c virus virus infection which infects liver human liver human being so this hcv infection uh we believed that this seven mer peptide can be a potential drug against hcv infection in fact there is a protein named la protein in human being which helps this foreign rna hcv hepatitis c viral rna to transcribe to to transcribe do do their transcription uh, form mrna copy and uh, translation forming proteins so this human protein which is there inside human body our body it helps for an rna hepatitis c virus rna which is infect infecting our cells suppose then our protein is helping them in transcription translation and growth so what we did is used we took that part of uh, uh, protein from there we i mean the part of protein that was binding to viral rna hepatitis c virus viral rna that part of protein which is which we call peptide we just took out we cut it out even experimentally i mean i i i mentioned in my acknowledgement dr asit kumar manna he did the experiment and i did the computational work so he excised cut out that peptide the seven mer peptide from that human lab protein and uh, and uh, i did molecular dynamic simulation of that structure why that was important that uh, the md uh, the, the structure was important because you know in protein there are secondary structures uh, alpha helices uh, beta seeds and this turns so this was a turn 
there was a turn uh, loop like structure so this seven mark peptide was a loop like structure beta turn in fact in biology it is called and then again this ramchandran plot you know of i, I mentioned this uh, omega phi psi dihedral angles so ramchandran using that ramchandran plot you decide which which type of turn it is it was a beta turn and it was important that beta turn retains its structure in free form not when not bound to viral rna if it retains then uh, we would uh, infer that this uh, free peptide seven mark peptide will bind to viral rna but then it will not help it uh, then uh, it will not uh, help in transcription of the rna because when the whole human lab protein is there it helps the foreign rna to transcribe and translate and grow but if we use this peptide and if it it retains the loop structure the turn structure that then it can bind to the foreign rna but it can stop transcription translation and growth so it can work as a, it is a potential drug against hepatitis c virus so this work we published recently in 2000 last year itself yes uh this this is the title stability of beta turn in la la r2c and 7 peptide for its translation inhibit inhibitory activity against hepatitis c virus infection a molecular dynamics study md simulation study and was published in spectrochemica acta part a molecular and biomolecular spectroscopy in 2019 so uh, this is the introduction of the problem and this is the molecular dynamics uh, structure snapshot in fact uh, it it is a movie i mean how molecules move the, i i haven't uh, included that movie over here but i could have here this red and white lines the small lines uh, the, the, they are water molecules so red one oxygen white one uh, hydrogen so uh, number of hydrogen uh, yeah, uh, water molecules are there hundreds of them and in uh, in middle is the uh that uh, seven mark peptide the backbone structure is shown only that's why it's uh, like a tube so a uh, seven mark peptide uh, again the coloring of this peptide uh, on uh, this is on a uh, scale uh, a red uh, white blue scale and this is a, res a result of the calculation which has been plot over here but i won't go into that and then salt ions are there in the system water molecules are there and salt ions are there this yellow is uh, sodium uh, a sodium ion and the cyan one is a chlorine ion so salt ions are there so and we do md simulation that is we do md simulation means we solve newton's equation of motion we solve newton's equation of motion uh, numerically on computers we give all informations to computers what are the positions of all atoms thousands of atoms are there water uh, water molecule and their atoms uh, peptide uh, uh, loop and all different atoms in them their positions salt ions their positions and their momentum momenta their uh, uh, velocities we provide all of them we give random velocities to begin with and we give all interactions how they are interacting how water is inter how, how all bonded interactions bondings in water molecule in in, uh, in peptide structure bondings so all bonded interactions all non bonded interactions like electrostatic interactions uh, like one molecule over here is interacting with another molecule at a dis from a distance this is electrostatic charge charge interactions so we provide all informations of uh, interactions all positions all velocities all interactions and set temperature the thermal effect and all different details whatever is required we give all informations and then we ask computer to solve the newton's equation of motion and after a small time step say 2 femtosecond very small time step you see Uh, that also is important which time scale you choose how what time step you choose in simulation md simulation 
So I, we ask that, we ask computers that what happens after two femtoseconds? What is the structure like of all different atoms? Where they, what their positions are? So this, and after two femtoseconds again, that is after four femtoseconds from beginning. And then every two femtosecond, we ask what is the structure and it will, uh, the computer will solve it for you again. When there are lot, when there are lots of calculations to be done, you cannot do it them analytically. As I gave you example, why simulation are important. Like if you have to do experiments on sun or on stars, you cannot go there. And again, if you have to do a calculation several many times, say lakhs of times, say crores of times, ten lakhs of times, then again it is difficult to do it in laboratory. But in simulation, you can do that. Computer will not tire. Computer will not uh, revolt. If you ask it to do calculations, it will silently do. So if you ask it to do for uh, every two femtosecond and say to do it for 100 nanoseconds, say few microseconds also, uh, there will be lakhs of the steps involved and computer will silently do it. So this, that's why simulation is important. So we did this MD simulation and this work was published last year. These are the parameters of MD simulation. And again, for physics students, this is this MD simulation you can understand better than biology students even chemistry students. Chemistry students do this MD simulation because this is done on molecular system systems. So we use this NAMD nanoscale molecular dynamics uh, software to, to solve this Newton's equation of motion, do the MD simulation. 100 nanosecond calculations were done, MD simulations. And there was water of 10 angstrom thickness layer, hundreds of water atoms, salt concentration was there. These are details. Two femtosecond time step was used. Temperature was maintained at 298 Kelvin. And PT ensemble was used. This is a uh, constant, uh, that is isothermal, isobaric. Pressure and temperature was constant. Trajectory was saved every thousand steps. That's a lot many things. I will not again go into details. I will not go into the detail of the results. I will go through them. I'll just skip them again. This this part I was talking about uh, omega phi psi angle, dihedral angles. I, uh, this uh, G N Ramchandran is involved in this work. <coughs> so I just uh, come to conclusion. The seven mer peptide layer two C N seven has got a stable beta turn structure involving K T D sequence at position three to six in the peptide, even in its free form. So it, it is a potential, it can work as a potential drug. It is a type one beta turn. Beta turn structure of the peptide is stabilized mainly by side chain interaction between P3 and P6 residues. And uh, other different confusions, uh, again, not to go, not to take things very seriously. And this is the third work. Uh, again, I will not talk about this work, but I'll just show you a few slides and, and my presentation. So this was again a simulation of the process of target search by a repressor protein over a genome to explore the presence of quasi-specific sites. What is this target search? A protein binds to DNA. A protein binds to RNA. But DNA, you DNA, you mind it. Uh, DNA is a very long, long chain. DNA is very long chain. Uh, uh, several lakhs of base pairs or crores of base pairs. Uh, so even extending to meters, you see the radius says uh, DNA molecule uh, diameter is two uh, nanometer. Twenty. Uh, but the length is extends in meters. And in genome, genome means uh, the whole DNA in, in a cell inside the nucleus, the whole of it, whole DNA, like uh, all chromosomes. So if a protein has to bind a specific sequence 
particular small uh, say 17 base pair long sequence on the whole uh, uh, with, which is located somewhere in the genome then uh, in this long genome which is consisting of lakhs or crores of uh, <laughs> lacks of crores of uh, uh, sites, how can it locate its target? Looking for 17 base pairs length sequence in a, uh, in a crores of base pairs, it, it should take some time. If, if this reaction is chemical, chemically driven reaction, if it is diffusion, like in chemistry, the experiments occur, uh, molecules diffuse then this protein molecules while diffusing in water inside cell a water medium inside cell it should take some time diffusion time we can calculate to locate its target and uh, we can calculate that theoretically what time it will take and then we can do experiments in vivo inside the cell and uh, in living beings what it uh, and we see that in vivo it happens thousand times faster. I mean, the time we calculate using our physics, what and chemistry, uh, what time this molecule should take in locating its target uh, in uh, that 17 base pair long sequence in lakhs crores of base pairs, the time it should take take. Uh, is uh, the theoretically uh, the time it should take we calculate that time when we compare with the in vivo results what happens actually inside cell in living beings the time is thousand times smaller so there is a difference in chemistry and in biology and we are working at that that boundary the boundary of living and non-living in chemistry there is uh, we, 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 we don't be, deal with life, but in biology, we, we deal with life. In chemistry, we deal with molecules, but and in biology also, this DNA, RNA, proteins, they are, they, they are large molecules. They are polymer chains. But can we, def, can we, can we uh, explain life using our chemistry? Is there a molecular basis of life? Can biology be explained in terms of chemistry? And finally, ultimately, in, in term, uh, using the laws of physics. So that's what. And this paper, uh, this work also was published uh, a few years back in 2011 in Biophysical Journal. Uh, the title was High Affinity Quasi Specific Sites in the Genome How the DNA Binding Proteins Cope with Them. Biophysical Journal. So again, I won't go into the details of things. This, these are polar plots. Uh, genome, genome sites starting from zero to this anti-clockwise up to 46 lab base pairs in E. coli genome, E. coli genome, and also lambda repressor genome. And this was for galactose repressor. Again, this work was, uh, uh, I must mention, uh, sorry. In our calculations, we used this work, which was done, done by Takeda and Sarai and published in PNAS in uh, uh, Proceedings of National Academy of Science in uh, 1980. We used these, their works. They did several 51 experiments, uh, binding assay experiments, uh, doing mutations of uh, DNA sequences at all different possible sites in 17 long pair based sequence of DNA uh, of, okay. And we use their data to do these calculations. And this uh, equivalent experiment was done in our laboratory by, I mentioned their, her name in the uh, acknowledgements, Parumitaraha. She did this experiment. Uh, this was 16 base pair long uh, specific site for galactose repressor, another protein that was lambda repressor. This is galactose repressor. Again, uh, we are we are thinking of our work now on coronavirus because I, as I showed in my second work, molecular dynamics of uh, a peptide. Uh, there we worked against uh, hepatitis C, hepatitis C viral infection, and we were looking for a potential drug 
against it, doing uh, molecular dynamic simulations, computational work. And here also we did this target search problem. And uh, we are thinking because now there are available uh, several, at least maybe tens of uh, genomes of coronavirus. It is available. They, they are available available on NDB, NDB data bank, nucleic acid data bank, and PDB also protein data bank. So genomes are available. So we are thinking of doing these works because uh, we are we have and we are having an idea, and we'll see how this lambda repressor protein and galactose repressor protein how they would bind to uh, coronavirus genome. But that is uh, 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 that is just a plan for now. Anyway, and conclusions again. Uh, maybe they are important, but not for this. Uh, uh, necessar not necessarily for this uh, conference. So here I will stop with my presentation, and uh, I invite questions. Uh, I'm sorry, I took a very long time. I consumed <laughs> a good length of time. And if anybody has anything to say, any questions, queries, or any any comments, please, please, anybody. Is there any question? Can you ask uh, to Dr. Chandra, sir? So, yes, maybe hey. Or uh, 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 to Yes, sir. I have a question. Sir, I just want to know your view on the research on anthrax, bacillus anthrax. Uh, uh, whose research is going on all around the world. But uh, some countries like, you know, they are trying to uh, make some biological weapon mm -hmm. instead of researching mm -hmm. on cures of the other diseases. So mm -hmm. what are your views on this type of things? Uh, very good, Tushar. Yes. This is, uh, this is a pertinent question. Uh, what science is doing to us? We used to uh, uh, write essays in schools. Is science a boon or a curse? It, it is upon us, human being, how we use it. Science itself is not dangerous, but it can turn dangerous. We have accumulated so much of weapon, weapons, atomic bombs, that we can just blow away our earth. We have that many atom bombs on our earth. So uh, uh, whose contribution is this? This is science's contribution. Yes. But this is upon us itself. So biological weapons are being prepared. Yes, maybe. And people were looking. See, uh, one of the former presidents of USA, he used to say that uh, uh, at that time, that last century and before, uh, or uh, last to last century belonged to mathematics, and the last century at that time he used to say belonged to chemistry. The the, the present century belongs to physics. Yes, lots of researches and works are being done in. Uh, phys physics, physical sciences, and you see so many things, mobile phones, computers, these are all contributions of physics. Revolution, phys phys physics in physics science. And then he used to, he said at the time that next century is going to belong to biology. So lots of things will happen in, in biology and this uh, you, anthrax virus you talked about and several many yes, viruses are there, right? Uh, I said that many uh, earlier that uh, several viruses are there and we don't really need to panic. And uh, and this is uh, some marketing is involved over here in coronavirus. And I, I made a comment, which is a practical comment I should not make, that uh, maybe coronavirus is more uh, of a world politics than a virus. Yeah. So in uh, this century, uh, because uh, that uh, uh, president of America, USA, he, he said it in last century because we have just changed centuries a few years back. Uh, so this century is going to belong to biology. 
and uh, see science has good good uh, effects or impacts on society as well and demerits also but it is in our finally in our hands how we use it and uh, uh, yes science has also done um uh, yeah it has inflicted damages to humanity also so we have to be careful in biology also you you can work on viruses you can prepare viruses in laboratory uh, maybe some people are doubting that in china people use that did that and many other countries are doing but uh, you see i mean you can use your science to do destructions as you uh, you used your physics physics researches in physics to make uh, atom bombs you, you know one of the in, uh, physicists i mean very well known physicist feynman richard feynman he was involved in uh, the project which uh, which worked on atom bomb yes sir, with oppenheimer ah, atom bomb was there yes and also richard feynman was involved in the usa so you know this is science is not uh, doing only good to society to to, to humanity it is also doing destructions but then we uh, we have to think and political leaders are to also work with that's it okay thank you sir yes please thank you sir yes yes sir i want to know that what motivates you to work in for introduce uh, please introduce yourself first Oh, uh, what is best. name and where are you what is your name and where are you please tell okay. about uh, yourself okay, Again, then ask question sorry sir this is abhishek amrit from vinoba babri university okay 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 yes yes sir thank you sir for uh, showing us the relation between physics chemistry and biology sir i want to know that what motivates you to work for interdisciplinary interdisciplinary sciences yes see uh, i was at a sanbo center doing my msc and phd through the, that just exam uh, if graduation students are there and also msc students they can take just exam and go to go to research institutes to do their phd so one day i was sitting in canteen after after completing my msc i, I mean the final exams were just to take place and then one of my teachers he is no more he is he was a great scientist and a great teacher professor binayak datta roy bdr we used to fondly call him he came to my, my table in canteen and asked me what i want to do for researches when i went to sn bos center i didn't i didn't have plan to do phd i thought i will do my msc and then we will see what uh, i'll see what what i'll do next but then when he asked question uh, asked me this question that what you are going to do in your phd i told him uh, i haven't decided because all other batch, uh, classmates of mine at that time say uh, we were nine in that batch only nine nine of us so they had decided what they will be doing in phd uh, then i said uh, i have uh, some interest in biology uh, so I, in fact i said i have interest in dna rna and how that interest came into me as a child when i was in school i used to read this vigyan pragati ek vigyan pragati karke ek ek, ek magazine aata tha to wahan maine dekha genome par us samay bahut bada project chal raha tha and you know finally i also am working on this genome things that's why i told him that dna rna things attract me and then he suggested me professor siddharth roy he, he, he is a good scientist he is a bhatnagar award he is in bose institute why, why don't you you work with him and i contacted professor siddharth roy at that at that time he was in usa he for uh, some 3 months or 6 months period and then he mailed he mailed from there and then later on i worked so motivation you know i mean motivation you have to you, you get from environment when you are you are studying in the schools when you go to colleges you meet friends you meet your seniors you meet your teachers your parents what they how you talk to them what they say to you these things uh, give you 
inspiration, motivation. Thank you. Interest, your, your interest develop. Yes. Thank you. Is there any another question? Uh, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Hello. Ah, yes, please, please, please. Hello, sir. This is again to sir. Ah, please, please. From Government Rajulation College, Raj. Sorry for inconveniencing. Okay. okay, okay, go ahead. Sir, I have a small question on biology. In theory of evolution, uh, it is said that uh, our ancestors are monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> so i would want to ask you one question yes that uh, monkeys have monkeys has 48 chromosomes and humans has 46 mm -hmm. how this uh, change possible can you please explain i am just eager to know See, see uh, again. I I I, I talked about uh, uh, different aspects of science a little bit, uh, little while before. That science not all, all, always and does good to humanity and society. It also does bad. So again, science also I believe is a faith. These days, at least, science has become a faith. I mean, there are a lot of superstitions in science. In science, you see, you see, you cannot, you cannot kill curiosity. But what is happening these days, uh, also in researches, sometimes you have to be open. See this uh, Mendeleev's theory or evolution theory. Uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a belief. We we became human being, and before that, we were monkeys. To to uh, to be frank, I don't believe in this. Sir, don't you think it is suspicious something? Ah, huh. see, yeah, it's not. Uh, I I don't know. This see, in science, you there are always questions. You can always ask questions. You can always doubt. You must doubt. If you don't doubt, then there will be no no new science. And science has got a boundary. You see, science is not everything. Science is not everything. It has got its boundary. It doesn't go beyond its boundary. It's a part of philosophy. It's a part of philosophy. Earlier, science used to be, science was not an uh, independent subject. In, in philosophy, you, you, we used to, uh, and our ancestors used to study science. Yes, sir. So philosophy has, is limitless. This science has its limits and it, it cannot explain everything, like this Big Bang thing. Again, yes. it's not an established fact. Like this Corona thing. This I, I think this is a <laughs> I don't know, this is maybe a political this turns to, turns up, becomes a political statement. But uh, this corona thing is a yeah, virus is there, it's there. But when you compare to other viruses. Why don't you compare with other viruses? So, so lots of things are there, and uh, you, 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 it's good that you have questions, so you work on it. Yes. You do study. You you read research articles related to this, and you form your own opinion. You do your own work, researches, some 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 experiments, some calculations. But before that, you study what, how they have given this evolution theory. Yes. How they have concluded that uh, human beings have uh, evolved from monkeys, and what uh, what bound, what limitations were there in their assumptions. So, depending on, on that, you can give new theory. So, it's good to have questions. It's good to have curiosity in students. So do your own research. That that's what I would suggest. I don't know. Okay, thank you, sir. Yeah, I don't don't have a right answer to you, maybe. Okay, okay, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Is there any other question from participant? 
सर मेरा एक क्वेश्चन है हेलो यस सर यस प्लीज अच्छा संजीव कुमार पूछिए कहाँ से हैं आप हेलो यस सर आई एम फ्रॉम आई एम फ्रॉम झारखंड से केमिकल वेपन what our view in it on it yes see and what are the contribution of physics in it mm mm-hmm. mm-hmm. right thank you sir ha we, we no, i i think that we should not uh, start running in a race with our eyes closed see we should think that why uh, yeah it's it, see it's important to have strength if you are weak then your theories will not be accepted you even if you are true you are right if you don't have strength it, it, it it's uh it is difficult to to propagate your theory so you must have strength if you, if uh, army is not there if uh, uh, this air force is not there you know what will happen to you so it's important to have that army and that all these things but this at world level for humanity world leaders have to think and not only leaders i mean opinion have to be made from public we choose our government in india so our government thinks the way the people over here thinks so why accumulate these chemical weapons physical weapons biological weapons to do what should we run in that race we should not run in that race blindfold foldedly we should we should be thoughtful but we should be strong as well so that it does because you can imagine what will not happen if there is no army and if there is no air force and no navy then what will happen so you have to be strong even if you have you are with truth you are right but you have to have strength as well to to propagate your theory to be accepted your righteousness so you must have that but you should we should not run in a, 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 a rat race so you should not should not just start accumulating weapons like atom bombs and so world leaders have to think and for that we have to make i, I mean public have to uh, make their own opinions they want to atom bomb or not they want to virus biological bomb or not i don't know maybe i i am not the right person to uh, to answer these questions maybe sorry yes next or uh, any other question yes sir yes yes sir yes, sir. good afternoon good afternoon good afternoon yes sir this is again abhishek sir okay okay abhishek mm-hmm. sir i have uh, read in wikipedia about uh, ultraviolet rays that mm-hmm. uh, ultraviolet rays uh, is harmful for living cell mm-hmm. so can we use it sir for sanitizing uh, household things very very good very good very good abhishek very good thank you see this way you people should think yes yes it can be used you see in uh, aqua guard water purifier ultraviolet uh, yes 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 yeah uh, rays are used so for sanitization ultraviolet uh, light can be used uh, but you have to be uh, pro- uh, protected as well because ultraviolet la- uh, rays can uh, yeah, maybe dangerous for skin you know so yes you can work on it how you can safely use ultraviolet for sanitization yes very good i mean you 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 have an idea so you start working on it you make uh, you do lots of studies related to it and then do whatever you can maybe some experiments and then uh, you come forward with your yes thank you mm-hmm. 
is any other question sir mera ek question hai ha yes sir please ये जो कोरोना वायरस जिसके बारे में हम लगातार चर्चा कर रहे हैं क्या ऐसा लगता है कि ये वायरस जो है किसी मैथमेटिकल मॉडलिंग के थ्रू साइंटिस्ट ने पहले डिजाइन किया हो और उसको फिर एक्सपेरिमेंटली कहीं कुछ डिमोस्ट्रेट करके उसको एक्सपांड किया हो ऐसा कुछ आपको लगता हाँ, है हाँ हो सकता है नहीं हाँ मतलब कॉम्पिटिशनल वर्क इससे पहले वो होता ही है ड्रग्स के केस में वायरसेस के केस में इन लोग डाउट कर रहे हैं कि चाइना के वुहान में जो लेबोरेटरी था वहां लोगों ने इसको डिजाइन किया है बट दैट इज नॉट कंक्लूसिव पीपल आर नॉट श्योर इफ इट वाज लाइक दैट मे बी इट कुड हैव मतलब वायरस आप बना सकते हैं अभी जो डीएनए रिकॉम्बिनेंट टेक्नोलॉजी है बायोटेक्नोलॉजी ये मेंशन करना हम भूल गए कि वन ऑफ द Uh, uh, bad effects of science and biological science, as uh, uh, you know, uh, lots of progresses are being done in this century in bio fields of biology. Uh, you say a few hours uh, so after few 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 decades, maybe maybe twenty, thirty, or forty years, maybe what will happen? We using this biotechnology, we can create human being of elephant size. Say. Uh, 10 foot 15 foot 20 foot uh, high uh, human being in biotechnology we can do that clones we have uh, i mean uh, clones have been prepared not for human being but uh, that sheep so many many possibilities are there in biology what will happen in future we don't know so it's not only this science which is important also world leadership and humanity humanity the thinking the philosophy philosophy that is important so ye virus aisa ho sakta hai ki laboratory mein design kiya ho gaya hoga lekin ye conclusive nahi hai confirm nahi hai sure nahi hai ho sakta hai lekin ye aur ye hota hai in fact hum jis laboratory mein kolkata mein kaam karte the to wahan dna technology recombinant technology we used to do sir aisa ऐसा न्यूज में बार बार आता है कि जो उसका डीएनए स्ट्रक्चर है hmm, या yes. जो उसका आरएनए yes. स्ट्रक्चर है yes. वो वैसा ही पाया गया है जैसे चाइना में था वैसा ही इंडिया में भी मिल रहा है हाँ. तो ये बहुत ज्यादा चेंज नहीं हो रहा है hmm. तो चेंज जब नहीं हो रहा है तो फिर इसका जो स्ट्रक्चर है hmm. उसका अगर कोई ऐसा मॉडलिंग हम तैयार कर सकते हैं क्या जिससे हम उसको ड्रॉप कर सकें मतलब मैथमेटिकल मॉडलिंग में ये तो एडवांटेज है कि हम किसी मॉडल को कैसे रिप्लेस करें या कैसे उसको स्टॉप करें ऐसा कोई है को, कोई यस 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 पीपल आर डूइंग दैट आई मीन ऑल काइंड्स ऑफ रिसर्चेस आर गोइंग ऑन आप आप देखिएगा पिछला पिछले जो पब्लिकेशंस हैं कोरोना वायरस पर बहुत सारा पब्लिकेशंस आ रहा है कंप्यूटर मॉडलिंग वर्क भी हो रहा है हम खुद भी हम लोग एक काम करने का ये प्लानिंग कर रहे हैं बिकॉज जीनोम्स आर अवेलेबल सो यस लॉट्स ऑफ पॉसिबिलिटीज आर देन देयर फॉर रिसर्चेस इन और ये कोरोना वायरस माइंड इट ये फर्स्ट टाइम नहीं आया है कुछ दिन पहले कोरोना वायरस वॉज देयर टू इयर्स थ्री इयर्स बैक टू इयर्स बैक दैट वॉज सार्स कॉफ Uh, yes, uh, severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus and this time this is called novel coronavirus for second novel. time and, and also sars cov 2 okay. sars cov 2 uh, severe acute uh, respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2 so uh, natural bhi ho sakta hai aisa koi baat nahi hai kyunki bahut sara viruses rehta hai aur bahut sara mutations hota rehta hai abhi jo hum log genome dekh rahe the hamare paas along with my students उनके पास कुछ जीनोम अवेलेबल है उसमें इस कोरोना वायरस का तो थोड़ा सा म्यूटेशन भी किसी किसी में है इंडियन में चाइनीज में नेपलीज में हाँ और यूरोप वगैरह का तो अभी हमारे पास नहीं था लेकिन अभी सब आ गया होगा अभी बहुत सारा जीनोम्स अवेलेबल है सो वन कैन डू रिसर्च इन दैट कोई भी कर सकते हैं और हम लोग भी सोच रहे हैं यस थैंक थैंक यू एनी अदर क्वेश्चन अभिषेक अंबर रेस यूर हैंड्स नो सर आई हैव आई हैव रेस्ड इट अर्लियर 
ओके 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 इज एनी क्वेश्चन YouTube से है अच्छा हां तो मत बोलो इट इज पॉसिबल टू मेक एनी टाइप ऑफ वायरस दैट हार्म्स ह्यूमन बीइंग सच अ ह्यूज अमाउंट इज इट पॉसिबल टू रिपीट मेक एनी टाइप ऑफ वायरस दैट हार्म ह्यूमन बीइंग सच अ ह्यूज अमाउंट यस it is possible we uh, i said dna recombinant recombinant technology is there and viruses can be made in laboratory laboratory it's not that you start with the first base pair this corona virus is 30000 base pair long genome it has 30000 dna base pairs so it's not you start from scratch from base pair number 1 2 3 4 but you take a virus already existing and then you mutate it and you can mutate it in a particular way to affect some protein some uh, dna in inside human being yeah it can be done yeah lots of possibilities are there yes but uh, i mean we have to think that how good is this for ourselves yes aur kya aap puchna cha rahe the pramod ji any other question okay. thank you sir uh, is any other question yes sir uh, yes please sir can we make uh, sanitizer without use of uh, alcohol because uh, many types of sanitizer available in markets are made from alcohol uh, cause of this uh, uh, we have itching problem mm -hmm. good yeah it can be prepared one possibility is abhishek said that using ultraviolet but you have to use it in safe mode uh, yes poss its possibilities are there how can you do that how can you sanitize using this uh, alcohol because when we use experiments in uh, on laminar tube in biology you might have visited some lab uh, uh, biology laboratory you have seen that people use alcohol there spirit to sanitize their hands Sam sanitization is a not new concept but this now it has become much popular so other ways are there i mean using temperature i you have to kill bacteria viruses so if temperature is raised beyond some 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 uh, uh, degree or centigrade then all the bacteria and viruses were, will be killed killed so temperature based sanitization can be there pressure based sanitization can can be there in autoclave in biological uh, biotechnology and biology biological laboratories autoclaves are used where high pressure is used along with temp temperature like pasteurization of uh, milk pasteurization process there you use pressure and temperature to kill all bacteria yes different ways of sanitization is possible and you you can think of new ultraviolet as one uh, abhishek said yes yes nay Yes, Sir, uh, you say that uh, we use a spirit, but uh, how can we make from uh, how we can make uh, sanitizer from spirit? spirit? Spirit means that alcohol thing that is ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol. Okay. Ethyl alcohol is a bit poisonous, so one should not use. Sir, that. but my question is that uh, uh, how we can make sanitizer? Uh, without use of uh, alcohol yeah it can be done as i said i mean you have to think of new ways i mean soap can do one uh, uh, soap is basic uh, base base and acid you know so that also can sanitize in some up to some some level you just washing hands using water some sanitization some level of sanitization is done temperature based sanitization can be there so different ways of sanitization can be there and different materials maybe can be used you you can explore you have to explore इसके लिए बायोलॉजिकल प्रिपेयर कैसे किस प्रकार से रह सकते हैं कि हम उसको हमले को दोबारा रोक सके सॉरी फिर से एक बार बोलिए पहला सेंटेंस जो था सर uh, जैसा कि मध्य प्रदेश में न्यूज आया था कि टिड्डिया दल का हमला हुआ था जो कीट होते हैं यस सर तो इसके लिए हम बायोलॉजिकल कैसे प्रिपेयर हो सकते हैं टिड्डी जो बोलते हैं उसको फिर से रोक सके हाँ 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 
यस यस या पीपल वर्क ऑन डिफरेंट प्रॉब्लम्स यस आप देखिए आप रिसर्च कैसे होता है आई मीन व्हेन यू फेस सम प्रॉब्लम यू लुक फॉर इट्स सॉल्यूशन आपके लाइफ में कुछ प्रॉब्लम आता है आप उसका सॉल्यूशन खोजना शुरू करते हैं इन अ सिस्टमेटिक वे एंड देन यू रीच एट सम फाइंडिंग सो यू स्टार्ट विथ सम स्टडीज जिस चीज का आप सोल्यूशन खोलना चाहते हैं उसको पहले आप स्टडी करिएगा उसके बारे में सब कुछ जानिएगा और फिर आप उसके बाद क्वेश्चंस रेज करिएगा कि हाइपोथेसिस बनाइएगा हाउ हाउ व्हाट व्हाट विल हैपन इफ वी डू दिस व्हाट विल हैपन इफ वी डू दैट एंड देन यू ट्राई डूइंग देम इन अ सेफ वे और उसके बाद यू डू एक्सपेरिमेंट्स रीच ऑन टू अ कंक्लूजन इन्वेंट समथिंग so that's how research is is done you have to face a problem in in research we call it problem so you have to have a problem first to so, aapke paas tiddy dal ka problem hai so yes then uh, do researches for it iska study kariye and how you can solve this different many problems are there in life life mein <laughs> daily life mein bahut tarah ke problem aate hain aur un par base ho kar hi research hota hai aur naya invention hota hai like uh, uh, you know this thomas alva edison he invented so many things using uh, also this ye jo bulb hai ye jo tissue paper hai several many things hundreds of them to chhota chhota problem rehta tha aur us par wo kaam karte the lekin kaam karne ke liye thoda 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 lag kar karna hota hai you have to be you have to stick to it you have to put yourself into into it to aap kar sakte hain yes koi bhi problem ho tb ka bhi ya koi bhi yes यस सर थैंक यू आपको नवीन आप कहां से हैं हेलो सर मैं कॉलेज से बीएससी फाइनल ठीक 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 आई हैव बीन देयर यस बहुत 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 अच्छी अच्छी जब गए थे तो सर सर ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच एक इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी मेथड जो कि मैथमेटिक्स फिजिक्स को बायोलॉजी से कैसे कनेक्ट करना है कैसे डीएनए आरएनए जो है हम उसको मैथमेटिकल मॉडलिंग से डिज़ाइन कर सकते हैं कैसे मैथमेटिकल मॉडलिंग का यूज़ हम कोरोना वायरस के लिए कर सकते हैं और जितने भी क्वेश्चंस जनरेट हुए उनका बहुत ही अच्छे तरीके से आंसर दिया इसके लिए मैं सर को बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूँ और इनका लेक्चर बहुत ही अच्छा रहा और बहुत ही सज्जन पुरुष हैं आने वाले समय में हम इनका और लाभ लेंगे धन्यवाद सर थैंक यू थैंक यू